in the kitchen you will find this microwave from the brand both and this is how to operate it a very simple you can see all the panel control here and on the bottom you have like this big rectangular button press it once you will see it open the main door and you put what's needed inside make sure to close the door properly and for regular use usage i'm gonna just recommend you to press the first one this one with a triangle shape on the bottom left as you can see and here pressing this one you can adjust the timer to, to your liking so just have to wait a little bit now and the program will be so over once the timer will be done the microwave will make a little noise to let you know about it and as you can see as well the light is switched off very simple you go back to the rectangular button you have on the bottom part of the section press it once and now you take what you had inside but please be careful it may still be hot so make sure to use the proper equipment such as kitchen gloves or similar make sure of course after usage to close back the door properly under the microwave you will find the oven as well from the brand Bosch and this is how to operate it you will see it's very simple as you can see on the top part you will have like those two different wheels and you have the main handle here so main handle is to open the main door press it gently towards you as you can see you can fully open and now inside use the correct tray and you can put um, food or else what needs to be uh, cooked inside close back the door properly and now we're going to use those two wheels to operate so the one that is on the right side as you can see here you have a little temperature icon so it controls the temperature indeed in Celsius degree keep that in mind so you go from 50 to 250 degrees so last option is in case you want to have a grill kind of uh, cooking method but let's say one of the regular usage of the oven so we go something around a bit before 200 degrees something around 180 or so the one that you will find on the left one is to control which um, uh, cooking method you would like if you want the heat to be distributed from the bottom and the top section if you want just from the bottom just from the top ventilated and so it's very simple to understand following the little uh, drawing you have let's say we want something that goes from the top and the bottom and you can see you already have a light that is switched on and you can see that your oven is uh, functioning now once your cooking is done make sure before opening the main door to switch everything uh, off very simple you go back to this little zero option here same for the temperature you see both exist and you can see the light is off so you can take what you have inside out same go back to the handles pull it toward gently towards you and please be careful before uh, taking anything out because it may be still very very hot so same make sure to use proper equipment such as kitchen glove the cloth or something to protect you from the heat once everything is out after its usage make sure to close back the door properly in the kitchen you will find this hub from the brand Bosch and as you can see you have four different options it's very simple you will control everything from this little panel control you have here in the center and as you can see from the different squares here it, it will indicate which one you're going to be controlling so as you can see this one is going to be from the bottom left this one from the top left this one top right and this one bottom right and those two little indicators down plus and left it will be to regulate intensity of, of heating so first thing first on the bottom left you have like this little international power symbol so press it a couple of seconds and you hear a noise and you can see the different light so now it's ready to be used let's say we want to use the bottom right which is medium size to say so so we go to this one and we just press plus button last time and it go by uh, 0.5 unit per 0.5 so I can see you have 200 little dots so it's 2.5 2.5 2.5 2.5 2.5 2.5 2.5 2.5 2.5 2.5 2.5 2.5 2.5 2.5 2.5 2.5 2.5 2.5 2.5 
three, three and a little dot, so it's 3.5, 4, 4.5, and so on until 9. As you can see, just after a couple of seconds, it's already red. You can really feel the heat, so it goes quite quickly. Of course, you can use several ones. Let's say we want to use now the uh, bottom left. So we go to this one and we do the same. You can even stay your finger pressed and it goes a little bit fast. You can see here as well, within a couple of seconds, just be careful, right? It gets very hot and you can already see it's uh, completely wet. So let's say that you finish cooking, that everything is, 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 is done and you have uh, taken everything out. Be careful when manipulating around because this might be hot. So we always recommend, of course, to switch everything off. Go back to this bottom left button, power button, press it for a couple of seconds. And as you can see, you hear the little noise and everything is. Keep in mind that if you see those different symbols here, it's a H that stands for hot and is next to the indicator of each hub. So it means the bottom right one and the bottom left, sorry, and the bottom right one because we just use them. Even if it's off, so you can see it's still hot. So be careful when manipulating around. So in the kitchen or uh, under the sink on the left side, you will find this uh, little door with a big handle and this is where the um, washing dishes is located. So, take the handle, pull it gently towards you, and as you can see, it is comfortably hidden here. Once it is open and you have filled everything with uh, the dishes you want to clean, you can see here you have two different grey sections that you can open, like so. And this is where you're going to put your gel, tablets, or any kind of other product you would like to use. So, when it's done, Make sure to close it back. And now we're going to move to the top section here of the door. So just before closing the door, we have a last step to do here. You see on the top section of the door, you have the different option that you can use. So very simple. First, you go on the left side and you have like this power button. Press it once. As you can see, you have some light and indicators. It's very easy. You see now on the right section, you have different buttons here and it's a kind of program you can use. So you can be guided by the little drawing. The one that is on the left, as you can see, it's going to be hotter water, so it's for uh, heavier things, like if you have uh, pans, big dishes and so on. The one in the middle is going to be for regular glasses, uh, plates and so on. And the one on the right, which is at the, the lowest temperature for something more delicate, if you have more delicate uh, uh, glasses and so on. So very simple, let's say on the middle one, you just press it once. Now you see the red light is located on the proper program and just close the door. And as you can hear, uh, the washing machine is already uh, functioning. Once the program is over, feel free to come back. Open the washing dishes the same way with a handle, pull it out gently toward you, and make sure to take everything out. Same as always, if you use a hot water program, be careful, some glasses or plates may be a little bit hot. And of course, after each usage, make sure to close back the door properly.